And joining us now to talk more about burgers for Brayden and also a blood drive that is culminating this Thursday. We have Brayden's mom, Brenda Eidenschink, and Johnny Benningfield with Nobody Fights Alone. Good morning to both of you. Thank you so much for coming in. And Brenda, we just want to express how sorry we are for your loss. Brayden was such a, an inspiring young man, and I know no one knows that better than you, his mom. Well, thank you. Thanks how, a lot. How are you guys doing one year later? We're surviving. Yeah. We're learning um, a new life, and it's been difficult. We're learning that um, it's hard to live with a broken heart, but we're trying to do it for Brayden. And by helping other families who hurt like you do, I'm sure that that is one way that you're keeping yes. his name and his legacy alive. Yes, it gives us so much peace. And what exactly um, does the foundation do? And how, could, how did they help you when uh, you were in your time of need? It was crazy. We knew um, once transplant hit, my husband was going to have to take time off of work. And um, we didn't know what the rejection meds would cost. And just the scheme of everything living five hours away from home and driving back and forth from Stanford to Bakersfield and taking extra time off we had no idea what it's gonna do and it, it really meant a lot stepped in just in the time that we needed it I, I can't imagine being in that position and then still having the, the thought of bills and your day-to-day -day and your job hanging over your head be, when all you want to do is focus on your child um, so that's why this this foundation is so important tell us a little bit yes. more about what you guys do Johnny um, it started back in 2015 and actually started with Braden uh, as our first before we were Nobody Fights Alone, we were just a little race team. And we decided Braden wanted to be a race car driver. And we decided to have Braden's Braveheart night at the races with the whole family. And it was successful. It was fun. So we started doing something every year. And the, the two little kids that really started everything for us was Braden's Braveheart and then Mia Sparks. So the Sparks family said, let's take it up a notch and let's uh, go full 501c3 nonprofit foundation. And we have an awesome board of directors. Uh, we really couldn't do it without the community support. And then uh, Brenda coming on as a director has meant so much to us, considering you know Braden started this whole thing, and uh, his legacy lives through the foundation. Mm -hmm. That's kind of our mission, and uh, our mission to to reach and to help as many families as possible. I mean, we've we've gone through this firsthand with multiple families. I think mm -hmm. we've been up to about ten families now that we've helped out, so we want to help more. So we have the Burgers for Braden Thursday. We have some other exciting news really can't launch yet, or, okay. but we've we got to yes. ink some deals, so And the other excited. thing, you know, that we want to uh, also talk about this morning is the blood drive that is going to all culminate on Thursday with mm -hmm. Burgers for Braden, so you can kind of do both at the same time if you'd like. Why is, is um, donating blood so important, especially for families like yours? Well, you wake up and a tragedy happens, you don't realize you're going to need blood product. And with Braden, when he was two, he went through 105 units of blood products. So that actually is our goal for the day on Thursday is to get 105 blood donors in there. Um, and then when Braden received transplant, he received numerous, so much more blood product mm -hmm. that I have not been able to get the count for because I just have not called the hospital. Um, but he's received just so much blood product and it is extremely important because every day people are in need of it. Absolutely. All right, so Thursday, our goal, at least 105 units. We want to yes. shoot way past that. We want everyone to come out and join us for Burgers for Braden and donate while you're there. Which, which location is this at? This is the one off of Buena Vista. Okay, so the Bolt House location on uh, Thursday that um, is it's all going to be the end of the blood drive on November 7th and then you can join us for the barbecue fundraiser as well 11:30 a.m. until 1 p.m. so head on out to Houchin on Thursday and be there to help Braden uh, live on this legacy this beautiful legacy thank, thank you, you both so much thank for coming you. in this thank morning you so we much. appreciate it thank you we'll be right back after this